to be a mosque one time and they converted it into a cathedral. So there's a young woman actually behind me and she's like passed out from the mask and the heat. Wow, it's crazy. The young woman. And you see all the police around her. Wow, look at that guys. That is that is crazy. Waiting to give the ticket. So you're talking about people are not affected by the mask. We just saw that young woman. She was in a chair. Looked like she was fainting. Mm -hmm. And I guess because of the mask. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty hot here. So that's crazy. Wearing the uh, mask with the heat. Uh, they're saying it doesn't affect you. Well, I have to say otherwise. And there's proof right there, guys. Yeah, all you can the see proof. it right there. And vivo. Wow, look at this fountain, guys. This is amazing. Look at that. You got turtles there and you got like dragons. Wow, that is so cool. Wow. They have some of the coolest fountains here in Cadiz that I have seen. That is amazing. I love that fountain there. Look at that, guys. Look at the beauty of that. In the morning, I walk like on the Genie. There's another uh, great fountain, guys. We're on our way to the Plaza de España. This is Plaza de España. And wow, look at this guys, wow. And oh he's carrying that. What is he carrying? A cross? Yeah, it's kind of like that. It looks like one of those uh conquistadors again. Wow, look at that guys. Gotta see that from the other side. Yeah, and they had some uh, really interesting like this uh, this time it's like rolling all the reproductive uh uh -huh. And look at this, wow, 1812. There's the date on top of that Don't monument, 1812. And look at that. That man on horseback with that cross. Look at that, look at that, wow. This is the Plaza de España Monumento a las Cortes. Here it is in English. It was built in 1929, making use of the large space resulted from the demolition of part of the walled precinct, the commemorative monument to the Constitution of 1812 as its centerpiece being inaugurated in this same year. The idea to erect a monument to the constitution born in Cadiz came from the members of the 1812 parliament. However, the political circumstances would not permit this. And the idea was taken up again, almost 100 years after its pro proclamation. So there you go and you see it being built there. And it looks like it was built in around 1900. I saw that sign there, wow. But this is a Monument to the Constitution of Cadiz. Yeah, which existed uh, only a short time. <laughs> but look at that. Wow, that is, uh, wow, they do some stunning sculptures here. Look at that. That is very impressive. And even on top there, oh, they're holding the Constitution on top there, it looks like. Wow, look at that. It is the cornerstone here of Cadiz. So, obviously, very important too. The founders of the city. A lot of nature theme here in Cadiz. Quite a bit different than Malaga. A lot of trees, uh, more trees, and maybe they can do that. It seems drier in, in Malaga than Cadiz. So I see the difference right away, guys. And another fountain, a lot of fountains. And you have a lot more trees, especially in the park and bigger trees. So that is actually nice because it is quite hot, but you really don't feel it. You go into these trees and I'm in the shade once again, and now it feels much cooler. There's a real old truck there, guys, a Peugeot. Very old Peugeot little truck there. I have not seen one of those before. And you can see here we are in the Plaza de España. And with Antonio Lopez is the street. I like the light here, you can see these people, they have their drinks right there outside. They stand there in the street. They've got the little, like, the mini ledge there. That's where they put their drinks on. People like to do that. Just stand out in the street and chat and have a drink or have a coffee right there. It's the lodge. It's a baby smoking a joint. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Yeah. So someone, yeah, some kind of artist. Ones. Yeah, they Miko likes to check out all that street art, all that counterculture type of uh, things. He likes all that. Yeah, and especially uh, if it has some kind of like uh, message or some meaning in it. Well, what kind of message does a baby smoking a joint have? 
Well, uh, you can like make up <laughs> some kind of ideas like what it is like. Here's something here. Mas trabajo a los mayores de 50 años y pas cure lo para los jóvenes de 18 a 30 tacos. Okay. So they're saying more work for the older people, 50 years and older, and also for young people between 18 and 30. Hmm. So that's kind of selective for mine. Yeah, I don't know Why about that. So does that, that mean everyone working is between 30 and 50? That's what they're saying basically mm -hmm. in that age uh, group. So that is quite interesting. <laughs> what is that? You will try me with Kina. Ni se compra ni se aquilla. Ah, so it's <laughs> feminista. So it's like her inside and her well, you can see the word here is the same in English. Her vagina is you can it's not for sale and it's not to rent. And something about wow, okay, interesting. The patriarchy there as well. So uh, it's the, like the same thing in America. They do it here, like oh, you are all these machistas yeah. and stuff like this. If you're a male, like yeah, uh, everyone is like a bad person. If uh, you're not a woman, you're a bad person. Basically. And here's the hotel here. Argantonio. Huh. Yeah, let me take a peek in here, guys. Take a look at this one. Hotel here. And they've got a cafe in there as well. Oh, yeah, and this one, is, so you can see in many places, is a captain tiger. Ah, there's the cat for the cat man. Cat man, da 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 Cat man. How about a ooh ya, Miko? Ooh ya. Ooh ya. How about a good one, man? That was a good long one. Uh, I need to <laughs> practice. Uh, practice my uh, ooh yas. And I have this uh, muzzle on, so oh, I. Oh, the it. muzzle is bothering you. Okay. The cat muzzle. Ooh, look at that Vespa, guys. I like that one. A red one says 300 on it so it looks like a special model look at that wow and you've got the spanish and the andalusia tag on that one i like that wow looks like it's got a leather seat wow that is classy guys classy vespa you like that miko oh yeah it's pretty popular in this uh, neighborhood but i think that's a fancy one the 300. it's like a deluxe one haha <laughs> my can take so American take. Yeah, cheese puff, Reese puff. Ah, so they got American stuff here, guys. Mm -hmm. But that's not American. Oh, that's uh, Kinder. Kinder. Classic A market. I think Ooh. it's just uh, just a name. Hope but they do have some American. Here's Twinkies. Uh -huh. American Twinkies here. Pop Tarts. That's stuff we eat in America there. Oh, Lucky Charms. <laughs> and a slushy. Yeah, we eat those. Uh -huh. We drink that. Well, normally we call it a Slurpee. In America, we call it a Slurpee. Slurpee. I think in uh, Canada, they call it more slushy. Oh. That sounds like Brazilian music, guys. Ah, but she's, it's in Spanish. Quite nice. So we're back at the coffee shop, guys, and we're uh, gonna have some coffee again. You can see this table behind us. There's uh, older people here, and you can see the people are still scared, guys, because look, They've got them all the masks on, they're drinking, they don't have to have the mask on, and they're actually drinking, they take the mask down, drink, put it off. So, Miko can't believe what's going on, and still, and they, they've most likely they've been vaccinated, so it makes it even crazier. Ah, gracias. Muchas <laughs> gracias. Nice service. Oh, look at this, guys, I got some red velvet cake, look at that. Red cake. You can have some if you want. Try it out. Looks good. It was a fresh cake. Look at that. Wow. And what do you think about that mass over there? Wow. People still scared, Rico. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, the older people, they learn like way slower. So it takes time to like... To like yeah. relearn not to be like this. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. It's really crazy, guys. So you can see... When people talk about the mass, you can see people still are living in fear. So we're back in front of the cathedral here, and look at this. You see a lot of people here, a lot of kids out here in the afternoon. They're sitting out here, it looks like uh, lunchtime maybe, and they're just uh, 
having some lunch there or looks like maybe a class and i saw some tourists here they were taking a picture oh, yeah. and there's the cat man there he is <laughs> and there's a big look at that a big gate there archway going into another part of the city you can see that is from the old times there wow i like how they preserve that history so we're gonna go through that uh, door there, uh, Catman? Yeah. That archway? Yeah, because I think in this one I won't hit my head. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. He said he won't hit his head on that one. Yeah, because in the morning I was... Uh, Hitting your head? Going uh, from the terrace. The door is like really long. Ah. In the hostel, so I forgot to go down and I was... Oh, you banged your head. head. Yeah, that is one of the health hazards of being tall. <laughs> yeah, especially in Spain because most of these uh, doors and stuff they are made for like half my height people. So, so not always great to be tall guys. <laughs> so isn't that weird? You got all those people at the cafe with masks on mm -hmm. and then you got all these people gathered here. So what sense is that guys? Wow. <laughs> Clap Miko. Yeah, you have to go what is it? That's the old Spain that I remember, guys. Look at that. That's what I remember, the old spirit and the nice spirit. Hey, all right, hello. Hola, como estas? Bailando flamenca. Mira como baile. Buenísima. Y como te llamas, señora? Ana. Ana, ¿y tú eres, me tú, eres, tú eres profesional, seguro, ¿no? No, hijo, no. Yo soy, um, ¿cómo se dice, Manoli? Aficionado. Aficionado. Aficionado, ok. Muy bien, no muy bien. No me toque las palmas que me conozco. ¿Y, ¿Y tú eres no. de Cádiz? ¿Eh? ¿Tú eres de Cádiz? De Cádiz, no de Sevilla. No, de, de Sevilla, ah, por eso. Bailando las sevillanas. <risa> Muchas gracias. Que pase bien. <risa> Hola. Very funny woman there. <laughs> she's dancing there. Wow. <laughs> I think she's a little bit short of making the show. <laughs> what do you think, Catman? Yeah, it's cool. People get back their free spirit. Yeah, this is how people used to be here in Spain. This is the life that way it was before of all, all of this started. Ah, this might be a wedding, Miko. It's a wedding. It's a wedding. Yeah, we are crashing a wedding now. We're wedding crashers now, guys. <laughs> Cat man and Ted crash a wedding. <laughs> wow, okay. Now you know what it is, a wedding, Miko. Huh? So let's go see Elliot. Oh, yeah. Going to get married. <laughs> Cat man, are you getting married today? Uh, not anytime soon, I think. <laughs> Wow, there's so many streets here, guys, and so many different little tapas bars. I'm just loving this. Wow, this is a cool place. Wow, I think I want to move here, uh, Catman. Yeah, it's not the worst places to live, I would say. Yeah. It's, uh, beaches, cats, uh, parks, whatever. So much uh, more to see and do. Wow, I cannot wait to get back on the road again and start traveling, guys. I'm so excited. The end of July, we'll be doing that. And I'm going to take you guys with me. So stay tuned for more great content from Spain and beyond. And we are in Calle Fabio Rufino. That is the name of the street. And Catman is going through another ancient uh, archway entrance there. And there he is, the Catman. He's up there. <laughs> and a cute little kid there. Cat man. Oh, yeah, another big, uh, He's the cat man. Big plaza here. He's got a cat plan. <laughs> cat without the plan. <laughs> he might catch a ban. <laughs> Remember to follow the cat man, guys. He's got a YouTube channel too. Cat Venturist. Follow the cat Venturist for more cat adventure. Mm hmm. More adventure. So it's a Centro Municipal de Arte Flamenco La Merced. Okay, so it's a, uh, a center for flamenco arts. And here is some kind of flamenco, famous flamenco dancer here. Cadiz Chan 
Chano Lobato from 1927 to 2009. Mm -hmm. So a famous uh, flamenco artist there. Unfortunately, it's closed right now. So I guess it must have been some kind of like almost museum, right? Or did they dance in here too? Yeah, it's like a temple, and they used to have these uh, shows. shows here, oh, wow. Canceled, canceled, canceled. All canceled. Look at that, guys. What a shame. Well, I only see one cancel. Maybe they are having some, Inko. Maybe, maybe. And here's another famous flamenco uh, artist. Mariana Cornejo. Ah, how about that? I have a friend, uh, my friend in Chile. His name is Ricardo. Ricardo Cornejo. Wow, isn't that interesting? Is this part of your family, Ricardo? Very, very interesting. Wow, that is uh, quite strange there. My friend in Chile, uh, is, his last name is the same, Cornejo. And do you know a familiar name here? de la Merced. Like what is going on over there? In Malaga. <laughs> some more. Wow, people are festive, guys. And here's some more flamenco artists here. And the flamenco art, unfortunately, has been neglected badly. I've been reading about it. In fact, I read about an artist that he was going to do a show in Malaga. And he said that he has offered to do classes here and the Spanish people were not even interested. So they do not care about the art of flamenco, unfortunately, guys. And that is a shame. And he said they don't care about one of their... When people think of Spain, they think, they think of flamenco, but the Spanish government does not seem to care about it. And they have not uh, helped the artists at all. In fact, I interviewed one in Malaga a few months ago, and he told me how bad he was struggling. And that is the truth. And you probably know some artists too, uh, Miko. Yeah, I used to know most of the street artists in Malaga, yeah. but uh, there it doesn't exist anymore. So right, that's kind of sad. So maybe a dying art form. Mm, yeah, or maybe it comes back even twice for but, them and but, they get some freedom. But something. we saw a great show last night at the hostel actually. There was a guy, a young guy at the hostel and he did a show up on the rooftop and it was uh, fantastic on the terrace. Wow, it was so great. Mm -hmm. Live music. Uh, yeah, it was great. It. In fact, <laughs> I had a little clip of this guy doing some music in the, in the hostel, but at, at night he put on a big show. So I did not film it, but it was quite, quite nice. So it sounds like some more uh, kind of joking a little bit. Wow, they're doing some uh, things here. Wow, guys. <laughs> Hola. Some impromptu artistry here. Hola. <laughs> a grand fiesta here, guys. Wow, very nice there. <laughs> Hola, buenas. Hola, como estas, amigo? Estupendo, muy muchacho. Okay. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Ah, okay, muy bien, gracias, amigo. Paso bien. <laughs> so they're having a little party there, fiesta. And you can see definitely this is a flamenco neighborhood, guys. Look at that. El Rincón del Barrio. Wow, that's what I love exploring. Just exploring like this, guys. Freestyle, freestyle. I think that you can call my style freestyle. When you say uh, Miko, I'm a freestyle yeah, YouTuber. Yeah, you live free, then you have your freestyle, I think. Right, I know uh -huh. some people, we met a guy the other day and he was uh, quite nice, but I watched some of his videos. He has more of a style of memorize basically something and then they read it to you, basically, more okay. like a broadcaster. And I go more like a freestyle. You've seen my vlog, so. Uh -huh. Free spirit, guys. <laughs> Viva la libertad. Like la libertad. And to me, that's the best content, guys. Stuff like that, that's impromptu, like that. Fantastic. And wow, I like this part of town, guys. I'm liking this. And what is this, Miko? A museum? Looks like some kind of museum, guys. And wow. I have to say one thing, guys. The Spanish girls in Cadiz, they are amazing. Wow, so, so pretty. And these girls look, look great all, everywhere. And wow, you can see them on the beach. They are so, so fit as well. There's another place, looks like it has to do with flamenco. Rincon de los Monjes. So this is the Moraya, guys. And this is the wall that was once around the city to guard the city. And there's some of it remaining. It's on the roof. 
We're looking for Ali, guys. Oh, no. Because he's on the roof. <laughs> yeah, it was the last one, but it's from the morning. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, it's around oh, yeah. here somewhere. Let's see if we can find an adventure Elliot. Let's make a call. Make a call. Elliot! Elliot! E.T. phone home, Elliot! <laughs> So this definitely looks like the entrance to the city, guys. And look at that, you see these uh, couple pillars there, coming into the city. The entrance to the grand city of Cadiz. And look at that, that is the remnants of that wall, that muralla in Spanish, protecting the city from invaders. And now, you can play basketball there. Wow, how cool is that? You can play basketball and soccer right there. Soccer courts next to the Grand Wall here, the Moriah, and you're right there. You can see right there is the Atlantic Ocean. Wow, so, so cool. I'm loving my time here in Cadiz, guys. Loving it here. So you get an idea where we are. We're right here. There is the Moriah there, the big wall, and you turn around here and you've got this walkway and then you've got that beautiful beach there. And this is basically a peninsula. And where it is actually almost like a little island. It's actually a little island. I think you have to cross over a big bridge to get here. So it's, it, it is so cool. This is such a cool place, guys. If you come to Spain, south of Spain, I think it should be on your list, Cadiz, for sure, and Andalusia. Okay, so we had another fun day here in Cadiz with Adventure Elliot and Miko the Cat Man. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Travel Addict Guy and Adventure Elliot. Adventure Elliot, you guys. I'm gonna go swim in the ocean, get some get some nice fresh water, and uh, nice. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, check that out in Cat Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> what a way to end it. Take care of you, one. Uh,